less than two and a half years ago, in this, my hometown of Clinthorpe, I opened my very first grot shop. Now today, this shop makes the 50th. Yeah. We will be selling our usual full range of utterly useless rubbish, square hoops, square footballs, cruet sets with no holes, blank books, fattening foods for masochists on diets, silent LPs. We'll be introducing three new silent LPs. We aren't the champions, you'll always walk alone, and songs from a Trappist monastery. Uh, <laughs> there'll also be an exciting new range of useless car stickers, like we've been to the shop that sells car stickers, we haven't been anywhere, and this sticker doesn't stick. Uh, but you don't hear me waffling away all day. Well, there's all this magnificent rubbish inside to be bought, so without further ado, I will call upon my wife, Elizabeth, to perform the opening set. I declare the 50th branch of Grot well and truly open. God bless her and all who make sales in her. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a turn up, eh, darling? I open my 50th shop and CJ goes on the dole. I suppose you'll <laughs> offer him a job. Eh, well, I did say if he was ever in trouble, I'd see what I could do, yes. Well, there's yeah. still no jobs for me. We were supposed to be a partnership of equals, remember? And all I do is to follow you about and look pretty. Well, CJ couldn't do that, could he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny, isn't it, you know? 25 years under his thumb, it's now my chance to get my own back. <laughs> Mind you, of course, I shall be magnanimous and generous. I shan't rub it in. Well, not very far in, anyway. Well, you have jobs for all and sundry, but not for me. You just like me to stay at home and cook your precious supper. No, Tony, no, not all and sundry, only CJ, and possibly Tony Webster. Incidentally, what is for supper? Nothing, until you name a date for me to start work. Well, Tony, I've told you, the moment a suitable vacancy crops up, it's yours, all right? Oh, oh, by the way, uh, yeah. Jimmy rang. He's in London, finding new recruits for his secret army. Oh, my God. So I asked him to dinner tomorrow. Um, oh, oh, good, good. Uh, darling, I um, I may be I may be a little late uh, tomorrow. Do you um, do you by any chance remember a secretary I had called um, um Joan? I think it was. <laughs> she came round here one Sunday when I was in Worthing visiting Mother. You took her upstairs. The whole family came round, and she had to climb down the drainpipe. Uh, <laughs> well, her marriage to Tony Webster's broken up. She's working at the Glycera Ointment Company at Godalming. I said I'd have her just a very, very quick drink with her tomorrow at the Dissipated Kipper. Yeah. And offer her a job? No, 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 of course, no, 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 absolutely not. Well, I might offer her a job. Look, darling, I, I can't stand that Miss Erith anymore. I mean, I can't even bring myself to say 22 minutes late, fractured points at East Mosey. I mean, there's nothing in her personality to encourage such intimacy. Intimacy is the reason for having a secretary, is it? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, Joan is more efficient than Miss Erith. Oh, and there's still no job for me. Oh. Well, I couldn't very well make you my secretary, could I? I mean, I'd like to, but it's a partnership of equals, remember? So I just have to stay at home and cook the supper. <laughs> Darling, don't go on and on about the supper. <laughs> you want to be careful. You're going to get a supper fixation. <laughs> Incidentally, what is for supper? <laughs> Nothing, until you name a definite date for me to start work. Look, Darling, I told you soon. Isn't that definite enough for you? No. I'm sorry, I refuse to negotiate under duress. I mean, even Mrs. Len Murray wouldn't refuse to cook the supper. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I will not discuss your career when there's something like the sword of Damocles hanging over my head. No, it's absolutely ridiculous. June the 1st. <laughs> Twenty-two minutes late. Fractured. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Mail's all, Mail's all sorted, Mr. Perry. Thank Nothing you. Special. Thank you very much. <sighs> C.J. C.J. Blamange Towers, twenty-three, one seven six. Oh, CJ, oh, CJ, Perrin, here. Oh, Perrin, here. Oh, CJ, Perrin, here. Reggie Perrin, yes, on red. Yes, CJ, <laughs> uh, just a vague. Per huh? Oh, thank you, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, 50 shops now, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, sorry to hear about your little troubles. <laughs> just like bankruptcy, yes. 
Yes, there's just a vague possibility I might be able to offer you a job. CJ, when will it be convenient for you to come and see me? Tuesday the 1st of 10. Fine, make it Friday the 4th at 3. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, Perry in here. Uh, would you? I'm on yellow. Would you come in, please? Ah, <laughs> oh, Miss Ellis, there you are. <clears throat> would you order me a Flexi Sit executive armchair from Flexi Firm Furnishings at Farm? But I want it by Friday the 4th at 3. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, Mr. Perry. Mr. Biggs rang. He can only make 600 rungless ladders by Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> it's no use telling me must step up production. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no step up production. It's a, it's, 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 it's a sort of play on. Um, do you enjoy working for me? <laughs> I haven't really thought about it, Mr. Perrin. Does no. he come into it? No, quite. Yes, sorry. So silly of me. Yes. I'm so pleased with your work, Miss. Uh, Miss Ellis. I, I feel it's mean of me to keep you all to myself. We one or two new people starting here shortly. I thought I might share you round a bit. Would you mind that? Make no difference to me. Yeah, that's what I'd rather thought. Good, good. <laughs> well, the, uh, the CJ I have in mind, the, the man I have in mind is, um, is, uh, is very good. I think you'll get on very well with him. Yes, yes. I'm sure you'll hit it off together like a house on fire. Thank you, Mr. Perrin. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Yes, yes. And so is this, if you don't mind propellers. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed he's got one on his lip? Joe, <laughs> uh, I've, um, I've got a proposition to make. Oh, that sounds promising. I'll give you 50% more than you're getting at the moment. <laughs> Money, I'm offering you a job. Oh, oh I see. Yes. There's only, uh, there's only, w w what did you think I was talking about? <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, uh, how, <laughs> how is, how is work? Uh, oh, it's pretty grim. Uh, no. My boss is a big man in ointments. Mm. I type letters about wonder cures for blackheads and acne. Oh. <laughs> He's also the fly in the ointment. He's as randy as nobody's business. A bad case of straying hands. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Talking of straying hands, Joan, I was sorry to hear about you and Tony. Oh, I'd rather not talk about that. Yes, of course. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. There's only one thing, as I say. Ten Joan, days I of marriage, uh, still on honeymoon, and he goes off with a Finnish model. Yes, yes, yes. There's, there's just one no, thing. No, the I length I'm, I'm, and breadth of the at the Helsinki raver. Hmm. There's, there's, there's. There's just one thing I want to say, Joan. This is a purely professional offer of a job, and whatever happened before must not happen again. Huh? Well, nothing happened before. No, what almost happened before mustn't almost happen again. <laughs> I see. Yes. And if you think those uh, conditions will be too difficult to oh, fulfill... Oh, no, no, I think I should be able to be in close proximity to you without feeling irresistible desire. Oh, good, good. <laughs> well, that, that's my... Oh. <laughs> Most satisfactory. I would have to make some conditions as well in that case. Oh, yes, yes, of course, John. Yes, yes. Fire away, please. Well, you would have to give me no lecherous glances, yes. no furtive looks when I cross my legs, and no straying hands helping me into my coat at night. Yes, yes, I think that's fair enough, John. Perfectly, yes, perfectly. Enough. In that case, I think I ought to impose one further condition, uh, phase three, as it were, of our social contract. <laughs> um, if I'm not to look at you crossing your legs, you mustn't cross your legs. Oh. Right. <laughs> that sounds fair enough, Mr. Perrin. Good. Uh, won't it be a bit uncomfortable, um, sitting there, not touching each other and not looking at each other, not crossing our legs? It'll still be better than Miss Erith. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's to it then. Cheers, John. Then you can start on, um, shall we say, June the 1st? Oh. <laughs> Good. And as the, uh, as the conditions are not strictly binding as yet in our contract... Uh, mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Perry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Same again? <laughs> There, Perry on yellow. Yes. Oh, uh, yes, Miss Elliot, yes, yes. Ah, yes, right. Put him on green, would you? Thank you. Tony, Tony, I just... Tony, ah, oh, Tony, yes, I just... Listen a minute. I told you to put him on uh, green, you put him on red, because I'm on yellow. Tony, uh, Tony Webster, Reggie Perry in here. There's a vague possibility I might be able to offer you a job. Come and see me on Tuesday the 1st of 10, would you? All right, thank you. Bye. Yes, Perry on yellow. Hello, yes. Ah, yes, yes, CJ's arrived. Good show, man. Thank you. Two, three, four, make him sweat outside the door. Five, six, seven, eight. Always pays to make them wait. Nine, ten, come! Ah, CJ, come in, come in. Good to see you, good to see you. Do sit down, CJ. Thank you, Richard. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that damn new chair, most embarrassing, CJ. Right, the perils of buying British. 
Absolutely, yeah. Uh, cigar, CJ? Oh, no, help yourself. Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> like in altered circumstances, CJ. We do indeed. Mm, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. I couldn't have put it better myself. The night is darkest before the storm. Precisely. Yes. I didn't get where you are today without knowing the night is darkest <laughs> before the storm. <laughs> now, CJ, tell me, do you think you can work happily with me as your boss? Bridget, you asked me a straight question. I'm going to give you a straight answer. I've always taken great pains not to talk in cliches. You have, CJ. Mrs. CJ and I have always avoided cliches like the play. Absolutely, CJ. A cliche to me is like a red rag to a bull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, there is the exception that proves the rule, and there is a cliche which fits my situation like a glove. And that is? Necessity is the mother of intention. Very apt. <laughs> in other words, Reggie, I am forced to consider working for you. What's your offer? The same in real terms as you gave me at Sunshine Desserts. You drive a hard bargain, Reggie. <laughs> yes, CJ. I want you to work on our new expansion into Europe, Eurogrot. And you will be directly accountable <laughs> to our head of expansion, Brackets Europe, Brackets. Huh? I'll take the job. Good, fine, that's splendid. I've got a nice, friendly secretary lined up for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you can start on, uh, shall we say, June the 1st? It's splendid. That'll give us time to get an office ready for you. Ah, yes, I'm a bit of a stickler for offices. I didn't get where you are today without being a bit of a stickler for offices. <laughs> I'll get something like this. <laughs> Good heavens, no, 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 no. <laughs> You'll get something like you gave me at Sunshine Desserts. You always said how nice it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one consolation, Reggie. I shan't have to work with that upstart Tony Webster. <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> I was wrong about him, Reggie. An upstart. The older he gets, the younger he tries to talk. Absolutely. <laughs> Incidentally, CJ, that's a grot ashtray you're using. It's got no bottom. It's <laughs> 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 one of our best sellers, CJ. <laughs> you sound like it. Yes, now there's just one more point, CJ. Yes? Do you think you can take on a new and challenging job in a highly modern business concept with drive and enthusiasm? I'm sure I can. Good, because we aren't one of those dreadful firms that thinks a man's old-fashioned just because he's over 50. Goodbye, CJ. <laughs> Miss Erith, would you return this flexi-sit executive armchair to flexi-foam furnishings of farmer? It is faulty. <laughs> Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Well, I'm on red. Yes, I'm, yes, just a moment. Yes, come in. Yes, I'm on green. It's sort of bluish. Yes, bye bye. <laughs> ah, Tony, Tony, come in, come in. Do sit down, do sit down. Thanks. Well, I was awfully sorry to hear about, about sunshine desserts. <laughs> Dramatic happenings in Jelly City. Sensation in Triflesville. <laughs> yes, yes. Almost exactly how I'd have put it. Yes, yes. And uh, what? Uh, help yourself to a cigar. Uh, no, thanks, Reggie. Health City. Ah. Yes. And what are you planning to do next? Well, I've had lots of fantastic offers. Yes, I don't know which one to take. Yes, so my offer of a job is rather pointless. Well, look, this is cards on the table, City. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, in the long term, in the long term, Tony Webster's still the lad. He's the kiddie. Absolutely no question, but in the short term? Nothing. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can offer you a job starting on, um, shall we say, June the 1st? Great. Right? God, splendid, and I hope you'll enjoy working with us here. Well, I'll enjoy more than I did at Sunshine Desserts, I can tell you. I'd had CJ up to there. Yeah. At least I won't be seeing him again. <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking of Sunshine Desserts, you know, Tony, I, I accidentally bumped into Joan. The other day she is an attractive woman, isn't she? Oh, sure, it's got good form. Nice pair of bristles on it. <laughs> Tony, don't you think that it would be rather nicer to say of the woman who, after all, is still your wife, she's a charming, attractive lady, rather than, sure, it's got good form, nice pair of bristles on it? Yeah, I'm sorry, Reggie, you're right. It's just that I really mucked the whole thing up, you mm. know. I'm afraid that's someone else I'd rather not see again. Yes, yes, quite, yes. Uh, Miss Edith, Miss Edith, would you say, I'm on yellow, would you send in uh, head of expansion brackets, UK brackets? Thank you. <laughs> your new boss. Great. Yes. Who? David Harris Jones. What? Yes, David Harris Jones. <laughs> You mean I'm to be under David Harris Jones? Yes. Hell's bell. Yes. Come. Ah, there. hello, Reggie. <laughs> hello, Tony. Super. Tony's coming to work with us. Super. He'll be working under you, David. Under me? Yes. Hell's bells. Yes. <laughs> Great. Super. <laughs> the great day has come, darling. 
you in the first is dawn. At last. Yes, you've got a nice big office, lovely big office on the door. It says Elizabeth Perrin, head of expansion, brackets, Europe, brackets. I'll introduce you to your assistant. He's an awfully nice chap. You'll get on awfully well. <laughs> Go on, darling. There's your handbag. Thank you, darling. Umbrella. Thank you, darling. Umbrella. Thank you, darling. Briefcase. Thank you, darling. Briefcase. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Have a good day at the office. office. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Back at the, the usual, usual time. time. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Perrin's Products. Thank you, Mr. Perrin. Twenty-two minutes late, obstacles on the line of Perrylands. <laughs> uh, when you have a moment to spare, could you retrieve my umbrella, which is hanging on a parking meter in Cobbler's Lane? <laughs> oh, and the, uh, the meter does not need feeding. Right. Thank you. Well... <laughs> Take a letter. <laughs> to the manager of all grot shops, dear sir. It's, no, no, don't cross your legs. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Reggie. That's all right, all right. To the manager... You better not call me Reggie either, Mr. Perry, oh, from now on. Sorry, yeah. Mr. Perry. That's all right, all right, Joan. To the manager of all grot shops... If I'm not to call you Reggie, Mr. Perry, perhaps you shouldn't call me Joan. Ah, good point, Joan. Uh, Mrs. Webster. Oh, no, no, I, I don't want to be called that. I've, uh, I've reverted to Miss Greengrove. Oh, I see. Right, Mrs. Uh, Miss, Miss Greengrove. And to the, to the managers of all grudge shops, dear sir, we are shortly introducing our new range of non-stick glue, which... Oh, uh, Joe, uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss... Sorry, Miss... Miss my wife, Mrs. Perry, no, no, don't cross your legs, oh. is starting work here today. When you do bump into this... Yes, come in. Oh, darling. Uh, how are you? Hello, darling. <laughs> Uh, this is my new secretary, darling, Joan. Not exactly new, darling. Hello. Hello. Uh, no, not exactly new, darling. More of an old, darling. An old secretary. <laughs> oh, well, we're old friends, darling. Uh, Joan's been to our house. Oh, yes, so I have. Unfortunately, I was away at the time, darling. Yes, yes, that was unfortunate, yes. <laughs> CJ, come in. Ah! <laughs> Elizabeth? CJ. Joan? CJ? Yes, you all started work this morning. Isn't that nice? <laughs> CJ isn't Joan. Uh, yes, 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 yes. He's your assistant. Oh. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> you don't sound pleased with the prospect. Oh, yes, of course I am. But I just don't like being presented with a fate accompli. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope that I'm not a fate accompli worse than death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good, CJ. Very amusing. Very droll. <laughs> yes, come. Ah, Tony! CJ! Tony! Joe! You, you didn't tell, tell me they, they were working here! Yes. <laughs> they all started work this morning. Isn't it nice? We're going to be one big happy family. <laughs> Super. <laughs> <laughs> An extensive range of grot shops in Holland. In fact, my wife is at this very moment in Amsterdam with her assistant. And we are already preparing publication of our new Dutch Dutch dictionary, in which every word of the Dutch language will be alongside its equivalent in Dutch. Uh, <laughs> it's meaningless, Mr. Perrin. Exactly. It's double Dutch. <laughs> the, uh, do, you, do you know, Joan, when I, when I started you here on the same day as Tony in adjoining offices, I thought you might bring you together, but no. He hasn't spoken to me, Mr. Perrin. No. Well, from my knowledge of human nature, I think it's possibly because he thinks he's made a bit of a mucker of it and doesn't quite know how to speak to you. Oh. Mm. Well, I ought to make him notice me. Yes. Perhaps I ought to try to make him jealous, Mr. Perry. That's I am, that is a good. Make him think of you as, as an attractive and desirable woman. Yes, which of course you are. Yes, yes. I ought to go out with another man. Ah, now that is good thinking, Joan. Yes. Walk yes. past Tony's flat, yes. have a little kiss, just enough to make yes. him jealous. Yes. Ah, very good, very good idea. Yes. Now, the question is, which man? Ooh. That's the thing. It needs to be it? somebody yeah. safe. Yeah, of course, yes, somebody safe. Yes, somebody yes. married. Even. Somebody. That's it. Somebody safe. Somebody married. With his somebody wife safe. away. Yes. Lonely but safe. Perfect. Somebody <laughs> safe. Somebody married. With, with his. No. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm absolutely out of the question. No. Remember our social contract. Well, surely our social contract can be breached, Mister. Breached. Such a phase three, Joan. Phase three. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Absolutely out of the question. <laughs> his flat. Yes. Right. Uh, just one kiss. Just enough to make him jealous. Right? <laughs> right, that's enough. Now let's walk across the golf course just to make sure. Oh. 
I'm good. I'm, I'm sure we've made him jealous enough by now. Honestly, honestly we're good. Late, a badger at a junction box at New Molden. <laughs> I, I slipped into Tony's office on the way in. Oh, and, good. Yes, I said. Uh, just came in to check your invoice manifests, Tony. Actually, feeling a bit stiff, as a matter of fact. Went for rather a long, pleasant walk last night with Joan. Funnily enough, we went past your place. You may have seen us. And what did he say? He said he was out. <laughs> well, maybe it is a bit too public to make him jealous. I wonder, may I come over to your house this evening? Come over to me! <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just certainly not. You remember what nearly happened last time? Come on, I'm sorry. That is absolutely my last word. No, no, no. <laughs> Sherry? Why not? Yes, yes. You're absolutely right, of course, Joan. Yes, now that I'm balanced and, and successful and happy in this way, of course we can meet without anything happening just to make Tony jealous, of course. Yes, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I bet he's eating his heart out at this very moment. <laughs> Imagining all sorts of dreadful goings on. <laughs> Not realising what, in fact, controlled, respectable adults we are. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Joan, Joan, please. Do you remember the last time I was here, Richie? Yes, yes, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> Not likely to forget it, am I? It's not every day a beautiful lady comes to my house. I take her upstairs and the whole family comes. She has to climb down the drain by. <laughs> you were very relieved when they all came round. Of course I wasn't relieved. You'd be silly. But <laughs> if I said, come upstairs now, you would be terrified. Of course I wouldn't be terrified. You said, give I'll be up those stairs before you could say, I'm all right, Jack Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, no, no, don't be silly. You said you'd be up there in a shot. Oh, that, that, that was a hypothetical, Jack Robinson. No, no, there's, there's Elizabeth and Tony. No, Joan, please, Joan. Mm. Oh, God, it's my sherry. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Joan, Joan I, I do think... Um, I, I do think we ought to... Uh, I do think... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, in your jubilee year, too. <laughs> <laughs> you really do? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so, see, you haven't got buttons on this dress, or sort of, um... A zip? Yes, sort of zip, It's much yes. easier to undo. Yes, yes, I, I imagine it is, yes. Well, have a go. Oh, oh yes, yes, sorry. Oh, no, 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 I, I haven't got... British zips are pretty good, aren't they? I haven't got any zips. I've got, I've got buttons, oh, really, more than... Uh, more than uh, not... Oh, no! Oh. Lightning never strikes in the same place twice! Oh, dear! Oh, it has! It has! Oh, God damn it! Oh, damn it! Oh, it seems to be your favourite, you know? Oh, dear! Oh, and I am there. Mm. Oh, the, 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 uh, the drain pipe's in the usual place, darling. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Reeves. Thank you. Morning, Joan. Morning, Mr. Perry. Fed up with rail delays. Came by bike. Twenty-two minutes late, slow puncture of Peckham. <laughs> I, uh, I slipped into Tony's office on the way. Oh, good. And I said, uh, just come in to check your invoice manifests again, Tony. Uh, uh, feeling a bit tired, actually. Uh, Joan came round to my place last night for rather a long time there. And? He seemed very jealous. What did he say? Great. <laughs> just great? Yes. Well, maybe it would be more effective if you came round to my place this if evening. I came round to you? No, so good. Heavens, it's bad enough you come into my house. I mean, if I went to your place, there'd be absolutely nothing at all to stop us. You know, I mean, in... in Eighties? Tolerable. <laughs> if this doesn't make him jealous, nothing will. <laughs> Perhaps I ought to give you a little kiss to make it more realistic. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, damn, who's that? Hello? Joan? Oh, it's Hello? him! Oh, it's oh. worked, Reggie, oh. it's worked! Oh, good. Oh, good, I am glad. <laughs> Quick, huh? we're only two floors up and there's a very solid drain pipe. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be home, yes. having a quiet cup of tea. Yes. 
Did you have a nice time in Amsterdam with CJ? Oh, quite nice, Good. considering. How did you get on? Uh, fine, yes, I, I found one or, two, uh, one, one, one or two things to do, yes. <laughs> no, Richie, now you're a success and contented and everything like that, I wasn't worried about leaving you on your own. I knew nothing would happen between you and Joan. No, of course not. And I wasn't, uh, wasn't worried about anything happening between you and CJ. <laughs> yeah, something would be more likely to happen between Jack the Ripper and Anita Harris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> No, there's something rather nice happened while you were away, darling. Yes, um, Joan and Tony Webster have been reconciled. Yes, marvellous, isn't it? Yes, apparently she, she managed to find some way of, of, of making him jealous. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So everything's rosy in the garden. Yes, yes, I didn't get what I am today without me when everything's rosy in... <laughs> what? Did you, I, I just used one of C.J.'s phrases. I'm not getting to be like him, am I? No, Richie, of course you're oh, not. God, I mean, I, I, I didn't get where I am today without getting to be like... <laughs> <laughs> Done it again. Oh, my God. Oh, now, Reggie, don't sigh. You're supposed to be happy. Yes, I am, aren't I? I mean, what, what, what does my happiness mean, darling? What does my success add up to? I mean, every morning I get up, get dressed, go downstairs, have breakfast, leave the house, go down Coleridge, close turn right into Tennyson Avenue, left into Wordsworth Drive, catch the train, arrive 22 minutes late, walk to Perrin Products, go in, dictate letters, hold conferences. Make decisions, have lunch, make decisions, hold conferences, dictate letters, leave the office, <laughs> catch the train to Climthorpe, arrive 22 minutes late, walk up Coleridge Close, right into Dennis and Adam, left into Elizabeth Drive, go into the house I left that morning. <laughs> you are going to start behaving oddly again, are you? No, 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 darling, no, no, I'm just, just a little tired, that's all, just a little tired. Yeah, yeah, that's oh. what you are. Well, don't forget, we're going to see Mother on Sunday. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.